Hey friends, today I am back at the Lakeland Antique Mall to check out some used props from Disney World and theme park memorabilia and see what they actually have for sale. It's gotten very busy down here and because of that, more vendors have started opening up booths that actually sell Disney and Universal and Halloween Horror Nights props and memorabilia. So I'm excited to see what they got. Let's go do this. And one of the vendors actually that I just recently spoke to told me that she just came back from California with a whole bunch of Disneyland stuff, which makes me so excited. The first thing that I actually see is this Crystal Palace scrim. This is actually the scrim that they put in front of the restaurant when they did its refurbishment. Take a look at that. That is priceless. It is huge. Even has the menu right down here. That is a one of a kind piece. Oh, and if you look over here, you might notice this wallpaper because it's pretty familiar. It's the original wallpaper from the Grand Floridian and you can actually buy rolls of it unopened. Like this one she uses to actually decorate the booth, but $295 for a gigantic roll of the Grand Floridian wallpaper. This will cover your whole house. And when I talk about the Grand Floridian wallpaper, like it is not a small thing of wallpaper. Like I said, you can cover your whole entire, you can turn your house into the Grand Floridian. It even has all of the different characters actually on the wallpaper if you've never noticed that before. One of my personal favorite things, I actually own one of these. This is a Grand Floridian pillow. They actually put these in the rooms on the bed, just like that. $60 for this decorative pillow. Another really, really good deal are these cast costumes right here. She's only asking a dollar a piece, and there are tons. I'm not sure where all of them are. If you guys don't, let me know in the comments. But I think this is Beaches and Cream, and uh, I'm not sure with this one. This one might be Starbucks. No, that's not Starbucks. I don't know, but for a dollar, that's amazing. Another amazing thing is the Disneyland props. These are just a couple of them. This is a basket that they actually used on the Disneyland sign. And then these are Disneyland Market House window displays. I think that's really cool because you don't get to see much Disneyland stuff and there's a lot of it here today. On the other side, we have this whole entire wall of signs and Christmas ornaments. And this is actually all from Disneyland. I think that's pretty amazing. You can see you got some California Adventure posters. And then right here, this is a actual lantern from the tree in the Grand Californian. I love that. That's one of my favorite resorts. You can also get the light fixtures from the Grand Californian. But if you do like Christmas tree ornaments and you're more of a West Coast person, how about the birdhouses that are actually on the Grand Floridian Resort Christmas tree? That is amazing. This thing's huge. Like you need to have a big tree to put this on here or it's going to fall over. $150. One of the coolest things I've seen actually is this picture. You guys might be familiar with Universal Studios right now. They're doing a lot of retro merchandise, but this one right here is literally the original. This was from actually 1990 to promote Universal Studios Florida opening. Like this is an original poster, $175. I really think that's worth it. Also take a look at the retro Walt Disney World banner i actually put this in the videos before never really talked about it though and over on this side they actually have more costumes and these are a lot from animal kingdom i recognize these ones immediately i like these ones they're very festive and fun one of the things that i've actually been collecting and taking a liking to is all of the all-star movie resort photos these are like hung in the rooms this one is from all-star music and it's with donald $65 for that bad boy. I think I've shown this one before, but the difference is, is there are four of them here now. So there's plenty of opportunity to come get one. And then take a look at this. Disney's Yacht Club Resort. This one is huge. This used to go above the actual couches in the rooms themselves. I like that. Another really amazing rare thing is this actual award. This is an award that they actually give out to cast members that volunteer. And you can see it says celebrate volunteers. And just look at all of the amazing detail in it. You need it to have 
almost a million hours of volunteering to actually receive this. This is a super rare thing. And then right here, this is from Port Orleans. Oh wow, I love Port Orleans. It has hidden Mickeys in it. I think it's a shower curtain or a room separator. That's only $75. Some other cool things are these little merchandise stands. You would see these actually posting all of their different t-shirts and hats. I just like them because of their Mickey. And they seem pretty sturdy because they're solid. Another really interesting cool thing I found is this Snow White display base. And take a look at the front of it. That is so awesome. $75 for that little piece of history right there. We also got some more Halloween Horror Night props, including the Scare Actor Dining Experience sign. This one right here is for $100. It's a pretty big sign. Some more Jurassic World stuff. And then tons of the Halloween Horror Night cups and different things that they actually sold for five bucks. Five dollars for the lanyards and the cups are, oh, three bucks. That's pretty cool. These are actually super awesome because these are the actual chairs for the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. I like that. And they're actually very sturdy. Oh, and they swivel. <laughs> if you're a big fan of The Little Mermaid, they have an amazing 10 year old anniversary pin set. But down here, they actually have a piece from The Little Mermaid rooms at the Art of Animation. That's awesome. That's the headboard for the bed and the light actually would go in there. $240 for a headboard. That's not too bad. And then over here, they have a headboard from Beach Club. This one's $175, and this one is very sturdy. This is made of solid wood right here, and I just like the way it looks. The resort stuff is always awesome, but also the Disney like theme park, in park use props, I absolutely love. If it's just from a merchandise location, or if it's actually from an attraction, I go crazy for that stuff. These right here are little flags that were hanging inside uh, Point Magoo Tattoo at uh, Disney's California Adventure. And you actually can see the signs there. Those are really nifty. And like I said, in park stuff is what I really get fancy about. These are gigantic bone chairs that were actually in the Backlot Studio Tour. There's two of them. And then right down here is a gun that used to throw out bubbles from a Hollywood Studios parade. I think it was the Pixar parade. That's an amazing piece of history for $90. And these chairs are actually very massive and they come with big cushions. You can make this into a couch if you're ever uh, looking for a bone, bone couch. So the question that I definitely need to ask is because all of these bone chairs were actually in the Backlot Studio Tour in the prop house. Where are they from? What movie were they from? Because anything that was in there was actually from movies. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments because that is a mystery. They also come with little pictures so it shows you where they were located at. Something that was very popular that a lot of people were asking about was this actual Murphy bed insert for Disney's all-star movies. And it's $395. And this was against the back wall. I just wanted to point that out again because I know a lot of people asked about it. It's a really cool piece. Another really awesome piece is this actual shelf from Chipetto's Toy and Gift Shop. That's awesome. A little history. I bet you there was toys on here. Do you think that was a toy shelf? The next thing I'm going to show you right here isn't from a park or isn't from a resort. But it is something very cool. This is a Christmas display, well, a Disney Christmas display from the Disney store on 5th Avenue. That is amazing, isn't it? Look at how huge it is. These were in the windows and in the middle of the store. Super rare, I have to say. Right next door, you have a Four Keys banner. I go above and beyond the basics. That's a really cool find. And for a lot of people that are obsessed with all-stars, like I am, I'm obsessed with the all-star art. This is actually a wall prop from music. That's pretty huge though. I, I don't even think it will fit in my apartment in any of the rooms. One of the things I'm about to show you is something amazing because I always remember my mom. She just loves to decorate her front yard with uh, Christmas decorations. And this is a Disney piece that is massive. And we narrowed it down to two locations, but we're not sure which one and where it's from. So maybe you guys might know. This was either in the Epcot Canadian Pavilion for 
festival of the holidays or at the wilderness lodge what do you guys think i mean this is gigantic i don't know how to give you a, like a comparison yes i do this is huge what do you guys think was it in epcot or a wilderness lodge it's twelve hundred dollars but that is like that's gigantic but if that is too big you can get the little one right here three hundred dollars for this one and like i said wilderness lodge question mark epcot question mark we definitely know it's from either one of those places but where are the mooses from something that is definitely from the wilderness lodge though is the actual patio furniture set this comes with two chairs and a table and it's actually two hundred dollars altogether i think that's a really good price for an actual patio set but the one thing i'm excited to be walking out with is another piece of all-star music donald duck doing a little celebration do you think he's doing a grand fiesta celebration any who's that's gonna do it for me if you guys actually seen anything that you liked in the store and you won't be here for a while they actually do phone orders but they won't ship so you can actually call the antique mall say hey i seen uh this all-star music donald duck poster and uh, i'd like to buy it and they'll actually run your card over the phone and then hold it and you'll have to come pick it up i wish they did ship but you know i mean that's a lot of work so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.